want to tell you about a big investment being made at Delphi and RIT. It's all going to make fuel cell technology a reality. News 8's Evan Axelbank has more. It's been a long time since union leaders were this optimistic. This is the light at the end of the tunnel. That we're holding out hope. RIT researchers and Delphi car part builders now have more money to play with. They say $2.4 million from Congresswoman Slaughter will help them figure out how to make fuel cells cheaper to build and more reliable. No one else in the world has figured out how to make them yet. If we can be first, the union is hoping that thousands of jobs will follow. It's the hope that we're going to be able to create these jobs and we're going to be able to pull New York State out of the recession with this technology and eventually the nation. It's that big. Even the military is interested. Fuel cells use hydrogen to make clean energy and they could help power huge tanks. They're very concerned in the military about quiet operation as well as being able to generate power more efficiently. The goal is to be ready by 2012 to take on the world. The end result is going to be a new source of power for our nation's military, for vehicles, for machines, and a new economic engine for Rochester. For union leaders and workers, 2012 can't come soon enough. At RIT, Evan Axelbank, News 8. This year's $2.4 million investment is followed by an investment last year in this technology of $2.75 million.